How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning into my video. Some of you might have heard this already, but this is a very important video that everybody should share as much as possible. Before we go on with the video though, after you watch the video, if you enjoyed it or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. It definitely helps the channel out and helps the channel grow. The other day, Gun Owners of America sent out a tweet that said, The Biden administration is putting us on a dangerous path to a national gun registry. That's a hell of a scary thought, isn't it? GOA obtained ATF's internal documents outlining their staggering number of records processed and their proposed ban on 10 to 40 million pistol braces. The rest of the story is coming from the Washington Free Beacon, dated November 6, 2021. The headline reads, Biden administration amassing millions of records on U.S. gun owners amid new crackdowns on firearms. Biden's ATF obtained more than 54 million gun owners records in 2021 alone. Like I said, some very scary stuff happening. This story is kind of long, but it's important to give out as much information as we can to show you how bad this is. The Biden administration in just the past year alone stockpiled the records of more than 54 million U.S. gun owners and it's poised to drastically alter gun regulations to ensure that information on Americans who own firearms ultimately ends up in the federal government's hands, according to internal ATF documents obtained by Washington Free Beacon. The ATF in fiscal year 2021 processed 54.7 million out-of-business records, according to the internal ATF document obtained by Gun Owners of America, a firearm advocacy group, and provided exclusively to Free Beacon. When a licensed gun store goes out of business, its private records detailing gun transactions become ATF property and are stored at a federal site in West Virginia. The practice allows the federal government to stockpile scores of records and has drawn outrage from gun advocacy groups that say the government is using this information to create a national database of gun owners which has long been prohibited under U.S. law. The ATF obtained 53.8 million paper records and another 887,000 electronic records according to the internal document that outlines the ATF actions in the fiscal year 2021. Gun activists described this figure as worryingly high and said it contributes to fears that the Biden administration is trying to keep track of all Americans who own firearms in violation of federal statutes. The procurement of these records by the ATF comes as the Biden administration moves to alter current laws to ensure that gun records are stored in perpetuity. Currently, gun shops can destroy the records after 20 years, thereby preventing the ATF from accessing information in the future. And if you thought that wasn't scary enough, the next paragraph is even worse. As if the addition of 50 million records to the ATF gun registry wasn't unconstitutional or illegal enough, the Biden administration's misuse of out-of-business records doesn't end there. Aidan Johnston, the Gun Owners of America Director for Federal Affairs, told the Free Beacon, instead of maintaining the right of licensed firearm dealers to destroy transaction firearm records after 20 years, buried within Biden's proposed regulations is a provision that would mean every single firearms transaction recorded going forward would eventually be sent to the ATF's registry in West Virginia. The ATF's registry site has long been a battleground between gun advocates and the federal government. Those in favor of more restrictive gun measures want the ATF to digitize the registry and create a federal database for U.S. gun owners, a move opposed by groups such as Gun Owners of America and the National Rifle Association. The ATF has so many records stored in its West Virginia site that several years ago the floor collapsed according to the New York Times. An ATF spokesman declined to comment on the internal agency records, but it told the Free Beacon that its agency's National Tracing Center processes millions of out-of-business records each month. However, those out-of-business records do not constitute an intention or continuation of any federal gun registry, the spokesman said. 
Yeah, right. We really believe this guy, don't we? The Gun Control Act of 1968 mandates that licensed firearm dealers that go out of business provide the ATF with their records. They are then processed into images, though the ATF maintains this database, cannot be searched by purchaser's name. Physical records, the agency says, are then destroyed. The record keeping issue has received new scrutiny as the Biden administration readies to implement several new restrictions on firearms and owners, including a proposed ban on anywhere from 10 to 40 million pistol braces, which are used as stabilizers on popular weapons, such as AR-15s. Under those guidelines, the gun owners would be ordered to register or destroy their pistol braces. And when you think there can't be any more, well, guess what? There is more. The ATF's proposed regulations would also require gun parts be regulated with background checks, meaning that if an individual assembled a legal homemade gun, he or she may be forced to submit up to 16 different background checks. Gun advocates, including the GOA, accused the Biden administration of abusing the rulemaking process to ensure these regulations are put into effect in record time, possibly before the end of the year. The Biden administration has forced the ATF to undertake the rulemaking process in record time, resulting in faulty argumentation and demonstrating neither ATF nor Biden's anti-gun appointees know anything about firearms and accessories they seek to regulate, said Johnston. Congress and the Government Accountability Office have an opportunity to review any final rule prior to its effective date. So there you have it. It's a lot to take in. But it's no surprise to any of us that they're trying to do this. But thank goodness we have the GOA and others that will fight this all the way to the end and beyond. Like I said previously in this video, please share this with others so they know what is going on. And also leave any comments about the story in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.